Hello everybody and welcome to the next game in the series. I've uh, been kind of on a Toho binge. You know, I played the first one, played the second one, or I guess it's technically six, seven, eight. But here's number eight, the third Toho game that I played. I don't care. Never have, never will. So this one I think I have faith in. Because the last one said English patch, but it wasn't really. But this one, the little custom.exe thing that you change your options in, that was in English, unlike the last game, so I have high hope for this. So, uh... Yeah, I don't think there's anything... Yeah, not, none of this matters. It's probably just the same. This time I actually remember what the story is from what I read. Apparently the moon got replaced by a fake moon and they need to figure it out before it's like 11 p.m. I think. You know what, I'm, I'm going back to the page just to make sure. The real moon has been replaced with a fake the night before the Harvest Moon Festival. The girls know the gravity of the don't care. The girls know the gravity of the situation. The moon carry is more important than simply being the subject of the festival. However, they've only got a single night to resolve the issue, so they've created teams in an attempt to expedite the investigation as much as possible. Our girls hurry, knowing time is of the essence. But can they resolve this incident in time? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Okay, that last part wasn't actually in the description. But uh, apparently it's just like a tag team thing. When you focus, you change character or something. And it's a time-sensitive game where, like, when you start the game, it's at 11 p.m. Oh, wait, no, it starts at 11 p.m. If it becomes 5 a.m., then the game is over. Continues cost half an hour each. And I can get time orbs to, like, slow down time at the end of the stage, so it doesn't take one hour. Like, uh, time generally advances one hour at the conclusion of each stage. However, if you meet the time point quota for the stage by collecting time orbs, which you normally earn by killing enemies, then time only advances half an hour at the end of the stage. So, uh... You know, that's interesting. So it won't just be a limited number of continues. The amount of continues I get will actually depend on how I play the game. So that's interesting. If I never meet any of the quotas, I have enough time for exactly one continue, apparently. Also, in between the last game and this one, I didn't do a whole lot of research. But now I know the difference between a yokai and a human, so at least I think I do. I don't entirely remember, but it's, you know, they can like team up in this game. So I guess without further ado, let's start. Hmm. That's actually cool. The difficulty is based off of the moon phases. Suited for absolutely nobody. Uh, the description of lunatic mode is always hilarious to me. Alright. Easy level. Uh. There are a lot of characters this time. And I know I like this, uh... I know I like this character, the human side. And I know apparently she like Dark Shrine or something. I don't entirely remember. Again, I didn't do a whole lot of research, but I visited, I visited the wiki once, and that's good enough for me. Small hitbox, that's, uh, 
you know, it's good for me. So I immediately noticed that the speed of the yokai side is always lower. So that's part of the whole, you know, you switch out with the yokai when you focus kind of thing. So that's uh, interesting. Oh, and apparently there's a last spell thing. Which, uh, I have no idea how it works for me to use them, but I know if I, like, I have to fulfill a certain condition, and then I can try to capture a bonus spell card, but if I don't defeat it, then there's no penalty, it's just like a bonus thing. How do I get it? If you meet the time point quota, so that should be interesting. And apparently bombs cost two bombs instead of one if you use it right before you're about to die. And it's easier to use them right about, right before you die. I have no idea what that means, it's just what the page says. So I'm just gonna go with this, see. I'm sure I can just figure the rest out later. So, yeah, that's, there's the switching. Gotta get those power thingos. Ah, uh, yes, the homing shot. That's why I love this character so much. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be focusing, because I don't really care for the other character. Actually, let's see. The character is really slow. What was it, like one star on the uh, character select menu? So, that might actually work in my favor if I'm trying to dodge like a whole ton of tiny bullets. And if the bullets are bigger and require me to move faster, I'll just unfocus. Oh yeah, and you may or may not have noticed that I skipped the game in the list of games that they have on that one website where you get all the games. I don't know how it works, but some of the games are like... Uh, I'm sorry if I stopped my train of thought early whenever dialogue comes up. I noticed I did that in the first one. Who are you? Well, apparently you're Wriggle, Nightbug. Oh no. Whoever this person is, you just went and offended him. Great job. God, what was I saying? Oh yeah. There are games that are for one reason or another listed as like something .5 or in one case I've seen like .3. I have no idea how it works, but I think that should be just because those games aren't considered like main series games. Like, I skipped 7.5, which is apparently a fighting game. If you want me to check those out, just tell me in the comments or something, because, you know, I will do it, I just skipped it because I didn't think it was important. But if you tell me it's important, then I'll think it's important to play it. No guarantee that I'll be good at them, though, because I don't play fighting games. Well, like, Bullet Hells, on the other hand, I have played a couple easy ones, so I just generally know how they're supposed to work. I know the fundamental, like, idea, and I've played a couple easy ones, so getting used to it isn't a problem, but I've never been good at any fighting game. I've never played Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat or any of those things.
oh yeah, the outside world, this takes place in like a parallel universe or something. And the outside world is supposed to be like our real life non-fiction world. So, uh, that's interesting. Oh yeah, and apparently Dota are made from like humans fearing the night and imagining them and then they become real or whatever the heck. I, I, I don't remember. This is going to get cut out if I'm wrong because I don't like being wrong. I don't like misinformation. I don't want to like tell people things that they're wrong. So yes, I have fact checked it if you're actually hearing it in the episode. This is, like, these games are more fun than I expected them to be. I just expected to die, like, a million times. And just have an unpleasant time overall. But these are fun, they're exciting, they're engaging. I'm actually interested in these games now, which I never thought I would be. I never thought in my life that I would like a Toho game, let alone three of them, and potentially more, because I'm probably going to play more of these. Whoa. I didn't see- Whoa! I should start paying attention more, because some of the bullets kind of look like the things I'm supposed to pick up, like the little blue things, at first glance, you know, for people who aren't paying attention, like me. Oh boy, the arrow-shaped bullets. These are fun. I think the only reason I know how to pronounce yokai is because of a fast food commercial. Yeah. Yeah, both of us, yeah, it's... God damn it, you just had to go and mess it up. You and your fucking bird eyes. You ruined it. You totally believed the disguise until a moment ago. And you had to go and do that stupid thing that you just did because you're stupid and have bird eyes. I'm never going to get tired of saying bird eyes because of the odd translation of the first game. I don't think I've died. No, I have four lives, which I started with three. And I used to be pretty confused by the lives count because, you know, you start with three lives, but it shows two stars there but I guess those are just extra lives. And when there are zero stars, that means you're using your last life. So, you know, that makes sense now that I've actually had time to go back and really think about it. But now that there's three, that means I've gotten an extra one. Oh, oh god. I keep doing that thing where my words, like, doom me. Oh. There's... Hmm. I can't see super far. Oh, it's because of night blindness. Got it. That makes sense now. Oh god, no. no. 
Don't come any closer, darkness. I don't even know if I'm hitting the bus with my bullets, but the homing ones have probably got me covered. It's probably like right above here. Aha! Midnight. I've got five hours left, and I uh, got to get those orbs so I can do this. If I don't get enough orbs, I'm not going to be able to use any figures. I can't get enough of this series. Can't believe I'm saying that about Toho, but you know, it has to be a reason it has a fandom so big. I, I love this, it's nice. It's fun, it's challenging. It's one of those easy to learn, hard to master kind of things with a really big skill ceiling. You know? Uh, Well, that's the first time I've died. That the bullets were just coming from too many directions for me to keep track. Damn it. I should probably. S oh, I forgot those were bullets for a second. <laughs> They just look like visual effects. Okay, so it shoots in the direction I'm at, so I should just be able to sidestep it. Oh god, they're getting shot faster. Right? No, it was just that one time. Yeah. This is really fun. I know I've said that probably enough, but... Is it just my imagination, or are the enemies in this way more persistent? Because usually by now I would have fought, fought like, you know, many different characters with different attack things. Characters would leave and new ones would start attacking, etc., but... Timing puzzle is no match for me.
There's a nice little safe spot until it starts moving. I wonder if these games are really getting easier, if I, or if I'm just getting better at the games. Huh. Oh. Yeah. I am still confused how this whole fake moon thing works. Oh, I guess I didn't meet the quota or something, because it went up by an hour. Oh, well, I, I can still probably get relatively far. You know, my, I've usually been able to get at least 50% before I start, like, you know, hitting a wall from progress. I'm only like half paying attention right now. I, I'm mostly just trying to figure out the thing in the bottom left. Whenever I appear to have a free moment. Like not right now. Oh, darn it. Yeah, I still have no idea what it means by it's easier to death bomb in this one. Oh, oh that was a bomb, wasn't it? the green thing that just fell. Okay, I can only guess that they're, like, trying to make the night last longer so they have more time to investigate the moon. But this person doesn't quite see it that way. Right? Those are tightly packed. Oh my god. Lucky I didn't hit any of the green or yellow ones. Oh god. What is that weird thing that it does? Like the red thing where... Or maybe that's what it's talking about when it's easier to death bomb. Maybe when you get hit there's like a second where you can just use a bomb and or I guess use two for a last spell attack. Hmm. 
I'm grazing these stars by quite a bit more than I expected to be able to. I guess maybe it's only like the middle of the star that has, you know, hitbox, and it's not the, uh, the points don't actually matter. Oh, god, whoa! That could have ended poorly. Oh, god, I can't... My brain cannot process this. But thankfully, it kind of looks like it's going in a relatively straightforward pattern. A very choreographed pattern. Jeez, the background is going fast. They could get a little bit hard to concentrate, but I'm managing anyway. Whoa. I need to try pressing shift when it does that, just to see if I'm right on that. But my reaction time just isn't good enough. Whoa, keyboard. This is the thing that was happening in the other one. I tried pressing it, I was too late. I pressed shift when the menu came up asking me if I wanted to continue. Ah, this attack. I recognize this attack. It was actually pretty easy. Because you just need to go one direction, then go the other direction. Yawn. I tried pressing it, but it didn't do it. I just can't figure this out. Or maybe that was it, and I, it, I just thought I died. Whoa. Okay, then. Whoa, that is, this is not a good situation to be in. Damn it. Running out of time. This is an e Actually, it's not a worse situation to be in. It's just almost as bad. Yep. I have no idea what hurts me anymore. I know the stars do, but does anything else here? Those things? Those lasers? Okay, so the lasers hurt you sometimes. 
That makes absolutely no sense. Especially not an air conditioner cold. I still have no idea what that was supposed to be translated from, but it's beer. Uh, so it is apparently you just need to use a bomb really quickly before you die. I'm just not fast enough. Ah, this is probably around the part where the enemies start really sucking in terms of my chances. Can I just go up against a really easy one on the first stage again, please? Scratch your nose while playing Toho. So apparently I have 0 0.1 or 0 0.9 seconds to use a bomb to not lose a life in those situations. They were between those two values, depending on what character I'm using, apparently. Or what team, I guess, because I don't ever use the other character, because homing shots are just too good. Backgrounds are actually pretty cool. I never really paid attention to them, except for editing. But and that one time there was the one that was like spinning and it was like, oh god, whoa, whoa. Um, I just wanted to have my thing up on the other screen. Is that was intimidating, but actually relatively straightforward to dodge. Oh, 
Oh, the bullets don't actually hurt you. When... So I could just... Wow. Okay. Whoa. Hey now, you're an all-star. I'm amazed I haven't gotten hit by one of these yet. Me and my words. I swear I've seen this in some gameplay thing. Like an animated gif of this or something. Because this seems really familiar. Interesting way to dodge it. You gotta find a gap and keep moving up. Damn it. Probably already out of time. Oh god, what is this? What's... Oh my god, you have got to be joking. Can't dodge all this nonsense. Or I kind of can. Just by doing this. Okay, this is, this is easy. You're supposed to be threatening? God, how many health bars do you have left? Is this your last one? Because I don't see anything to the left of your bar. Uh, I've got to kind of remember where they are. anyway. Jesus. That is... That is certainly a threat. <laughs> or we'll tear off your skin. Wait, what, what's happening? So that's the shrine. Bad ending number nine? What happened? Did it already hit, like, five or something? I wasn't paying attention to the time. Yeah, that works. 66% of the way. A bad ending is reached if the player runs out of lives during Final B, or if the time of day reaches 5 a.m. And then... Uh, 
wish there was somewhere on the HUD that said what time it is. Instead of just when you, like, beat a level or continue. That'd make it easier to tell. Alright, I'm just going to play this again, see if I can't do anything different. You know what, I'm wondering if I should just do a jump cut, because I don't know if I'll say much during this, and it's stuff you've already seen. So, uh... Yeah, jump cut, I guess. Oh my god, I feel like an idiot. You know what I've been doing? I've been pressing the wrong button. I haven't been pressing the bomb button on like the border between life and death or whatever. I have been pressing focus. I feel like an idiot. And I am an idiot, so I guess that works out. Oh, I only just realized. I mean, every once in a while I noticed it says enemy at the bottom, but I had no idea what that meant. But that's like showing you where the enemy is. So you don't have to look up to... Oh my god. That's... Oh, that's brilliant. That's actually really intelligent level... Or, I guess, game design. I don't know why I said level. Really intelligent game design, now that I think about it. I just saw it, like, move across when she moved across. It's like, oh. That's really helpful. I'm gonna try focusing more, because, you know, I was turned off at first, because, you know, there's like a bonus for being one or the other most of the time. The human bonus is like, you get more orbs for hitting shots, and the other, the yokai one is for, you get bonus for grazing, but if there are a lot of bullets, you're going to be focusing anyway, so you'll probably accidentally graze. Quite a few of them. There I go, pressing the wrong button again. Oh god, that is bad. Yeah, th there we go. I just need to do that. I desperately need the red things. No, it's keyboard, stop. I'm trying to collect these. Not avoid them. These really long shots appear to be a gold mine for grazing. Eh, I think I got more to here. Grazing just doesn't seem to be worth it. Plus, I'm not good at it to begin with. Someone who can, like, graze super well can probably do it way better. But I just get more by hitting them. Okay, let's see if this does anything different. It's definitely not five. Now it is. Damn it. I'm not sure if I like the whole time warp system. I would honestly go back to limited continues. Because it is way better than this. Alright, well, I think I'm done with this one. Actually, uh, what thing? What is this? Practice. 
Oh, you can practice different stages. Hmm. Well, I might play a couple of these games, you know, off camera. I'm not going to play the next one. Or play past the points I've already played, but... You know, this is a fun series. This game isn't the most, like, fun out of all of them. The attacks, I like the attacks, but... And the idea of switching between them and... You know, the whole death bombing thing, but... I, uh, I just don't like the time orb idea. I just don't. But, uh... I'll probably play the next main game, unless you tell me otherwise. The first part of this hasn't even uploaded it yet. I still need to finish uploading the other series, which is right before this one. And uh, part 11, I think it was, went up today. So, yeah. After all that, then uh, the, to the two who's, the Tao Hows. Those are the only really funny ways I can think of wrapping it. All the Toho flavors will start going up. But, uh... Yeah, I like this series more than I thought I would. Anyway, uh... Yeah. I will see you in the next episode of the series where I try to play everything, and hopefully one day I'll get better at this game series. See ya. And now, it's time for a bonus from in Bobby... Fuck. You know, I'm keeping that in. I'm keeping that in. It's time for a bonus from Embodiment of Scarlet Devil, which I played after I recorded this. Again. Alright, you. You're going down. With me and the power of my new hitbox patch. You are no match for this amazing hitbox patch. Damn it. No, no, I can do this. Come on, I've got this. Okay, that happened. Oh, it's because I reached full power. Right, that's right, I forgot about that. Whoa. Alright, this- I haven't seen this- whoa. That is- that's a fire sign, alright? That- the description isn't wrong. Whoa. Whoa getting hot in here. Fire and earth. Whoa. Whoa. I made it so far I can't lose now. No, apparently I can. Yes! Oh, really? Is there? Oh my god, okay. I was just watching YouTube and playing this on the side, and I got further than I ever have before. Well, technically I hadn't. I was right before the boss that I died on, but I decided to start recording, because... Who knows? I don't know what I'm going to do with this recording. I could tack it on to the end of the last one I did, which was Toho 8. Or I could put it at the beginning of whichever one I do next. Hmm, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I'll probably just put it on the end of the last one, because... You know, I'm probably going to be taking... I'm probably not going to do the next game right away. Or maybe this will be its own part if I get far enough.
I would much rather waste a bomb than die when I'm this far. Oh, god damn it. No, damn it. Rah. Oh well. There we go. Sixty eight percent. Yeah. All right, it's time for round two. I uh, changed the number of lives from three to five. Oh god, I hate that attack. It's the one I don't do well with. Okay, I just need to save- Ah, oh, fuck. I could die here. Oh, what is this? Misdirection, whoa. Okay, this is relatively straightforward. Yeah, this is relatively simple. Yeah. So yeah, I changed the number of lives from three to five. I don't think it's really cheating, necessarily. Oh, fuck. Because, uh, you know, I kind of need all the help I can get. I'm no expert Toho player. So I think I'm going to start doing that for all future games that I play. Got less points that run, but I got further. Yay. <laughs> 